Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a pick a card reading. So this is going to be on the subject of romance. Not everybody who watches my videos is interested in that, but this is really going to be for those of you that are in an existing partnership where it's, there's a mutual connection. So we could get the vibration of that connection, anything that you need to know about that, or it could be that you're single. So just take what resonates you guys, please, and get rid of anything that doesn't. These cool organites here, very Christmassy for the Christmas vibe today are created by Michelle from Wingham Bell. We've got the snowman, the well reindeer, or I guess this would be like a deer and then the gnome. So I'll put them down below with the timestamps one, two, and three, as well as the decks that I'll be using. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys. All right, you guys. So for those of you that chose number one, let's go ahead and get the romance vibe. What is the romance vibe for those that have chose number one? I still have hope for us, okay? So it could be that there has been some sort of a challenge maybe in your partnership, or if you're single, you still have hope that there's someone out there for you. So let's get some details. We have love language. I do feel like um, if you guys... Um, have an opportunity to talk about your feelings or to have a deep conversation, this is going to be really healing. Okay. And if you are single, I am seeing here that there is still hope that you will be able to find someone that you connect with at, through conversation. Maybe you were together with people before where they didn't, they weren't really good listeners or there wasn't any real depth to the connection. And I feel like this is something that's going to shift and change the next person that you meet. You're going to have that, um, either your love language could be, let's just say words of affirmation or theirs is, and there's going to be a nice conversation or some kind of depth to the connection. And uh, if you're coupled up, I just feel that this is telling you that um, anything that needs to be talked about or worked out, it's going to actually bring um, a very favorable outcome to the situation. So yeah, I'm not sure what that's about, but let's go ahead and get some details. Ooh, yes, this is definitely <laughs> uh, for those of you I feel that are single. I do feel like there is going to be a, an offer or a message that comes to you that's going to bring you a lot of hope that you will love or that you will love again or that there is an opportunity to start something fresh and new with someone. It could be a very flirtatious conversation, but the thing is, I feel like this flirtatious energy is going to turn into something deep. So that we have the beginning stages with the Page of Cups with a conversation or with an offer, but it does turn into something deep. So Maybe at first, if it's not immediately coming together, uh, don't lose hope. I feel like there's still, there, there's hope for something. And if you are connected to someone, I just feel like through this conversation, there's going to be growth. People are going to grow through talking about each other's needs or just kind of seeing things from your perspective. So it's, I have like two energies here, someone who's like really deep, very communicative, and then another person that's kind of lighthearted. And I feel like two people get on the same page through an incident or a conversation. And it's, it, and it kind of brings you guys closer is what I'm seeing with that. Yeah. Nine of cups wish fulfilled for those of you that have been looking for the partner. Um, you know, I, that, that's, I, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I feel like your next relationship could be that you meet someone that ticks all your boxes. It's like your wish. I don't want to say like a wish come true, but it could be like you're feeling really fulfilled. And it could also be because you've just really feel good and solid on your own. Now you're attracting that in another person, kind of like like attracts like the frequency is good. If you're coupled up, I just feel like there's going to be some sort of like miracle healing something that you thought that just wasn't going to work out works out. Now I'm also getting that maybe even someone brings forth some sort of a proposal. Okay. So if you're looking for your partner to propose, I'm getting some of you guys that might be happening here. You might've gotten little hints here and there, and it's going to be fulfilled perhaps in this holiday season. I don't know who that's for, but that's for someone. 
Yeah, you've been waiting for it. I'm getting for a lot of you. And if you're single, you've been waiting for this type of person and they're coming through. So regardless if you're if you're single or coupled up, uh, it looks really, really good. Something can either be saved or something that you want with this person is going to happen. Um, or it's just someone new that you've been waiting for and it just feels like, yes, finally. So it's very positive for those of you that chose number one. So we're going to now go ahead and move on into pile number two. All right, you guys, so those of you that chose number two, the reindeer or deer, let's go ahead and see what is the romance vibe for those of you that chose number two. We have cuddle buddy. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, so this could actually take on of uh, just a number of things. If you guys are coupled up, it might just be that you really, really just snuggle up and cuddle up. You're connected. You're feeling very cozy with someone this holiday season. Um, and if you're and if you're not with someone, if you're single, it could be that you spend time with someone. It does say buddy, so it could be a friend. Maybe it's a friend where you're hoping there will be some sort of romance. So there could be a message about that too. But whatever this is, we're coupled up and we're just snuggling close with people and enjoying ourselves. This is what I'm seeing. Yeah, we have integrity. Okay, so I'm getting for some of you guys, you might be interested in someone that is taken, but you're going to, even though you might be spending time with them, you're utilizing integrity or they're in their integrity. Whatever this is, it's about respect. And so that's a good thing. And if that doesn't resonate, I just feel like you're not willing to compromise yourself just to have someone. So let's just say, you know, you're spending time with someone, but you really want something deeper and you don't want to just hook up. I do feel like you will stay in your integrity if you, you know, if you're single and you won't do something that you don't want to do. If you want a serious commitment, you're not going to, you're just going to keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to do something that maybe you feel is just not in alignment with your integrity. Okay. So I'm getting a mixture of messages here. It's got to resonate with somebody out there or maybe not, but yeah, somebody's staying within their integrity. They're not willing to, they're not willing to do things that don't feel right to them. Okay. And also to what I'm getting, if you're connected or you're, you're coupled up, you can trust your partner is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we have emperor, masculine energy. So this is like a masculine presence. Somebody that, I mean, look at, we got, doesn't mean masculine has to be like, you know, that mat, like that uh, male body, but it could be somebody who's like really physically fit. And you're just like, whoa, like they're, wow, I just want to, you know, I want to be with this person, but there might be a reason why someone is holding back. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of like it's nice and innocent cuddles, but anything more, I'm not really sure that I'm ready for that. I'm not really sure if that's what we should do. Oh my gosh, so <laughs> this number two. Okay, so if you guys are not resonating with number two, please choose number one or three. Sometimes this happens. There is someone that is coupled up someone you, you're interested or someone is interested in you and they are coupled up already. Okay. But someone's staying in their integrity. So even though there might be this, you know, like, uh, temptation to do something, don't do it. Don't do it. And if that means that maybe you don't even do the cuddle because it's going to lead to that, then maybe that's what you need to stay away from. I don't know, you guys. That's really, really bizarre. But it, it's coming out this way for a reason. Okay. Yeah. He might be very aroused by this person. I mean, who the flames with a page of wands, the flames, the flirtation, the just their presence, you're attracted to them. It, it's very arousing. Okay. But you're being asked to stay in your integrity or someone else's. So if you feel rejected by someone, really try not to take it that way. Your person may not trust themselves around you, or it might just be not good to just be friends. You know what I mean? Like, who are you guys kidding? Right? And also, if you feel like you can't trust someone, 
I feel like you can because of that integrity card. I feel like you can. So some of you guys are coupled up and you're wondering whether or not your person, like you can trust them. I am getting here that you can actually, you, you can, they're in control of themselves just because there might be this like temptation. I'm not seeing that they're, it's very, in, like they're innocent. So I don't know who that's for, but we, we have to roll with it. So there you go. That's what spirit wants to give us today for those of you that chose number two. And again, if that did not resonate or make any sense whatsoever, let's go ahead and choose another number, either one or three. All right, you guys, number three, the little cute gnome. Let's see what spirit wants us to know in regards to our romantic vibration currently. Magical chemistry, good vibes. Okay, what is that about? Ooh, I'm telling you, there, okay, I don't want to ruin it, but I feel like there was something in number one that could be connected to number three. So maybe if number three, you've chosen this one first, there could be something for you in number one because this energy did come up. Like there's a good vibes, like somebody is offering something. So it could be someone's offering just commitment or you guys are taking your relationship to the next level. Or let's just say if you're single, you meet someone, there's this chemistry. It's just like, bam, like you're being asked to go out on a date. You're being asked or propositioned with something. And it's, and it's definitely something where you feel good about it. It feels like magic. Okay, it's good vibes. The words say good, so it's a good thing. Ooh, and the timing is just right. It's almost like maybe if you've been waiting for something, it didn't happen because the timing wasn't right, but it seems like it's the timing now. <laughs> so two people are coming together. You can see the two birds, the love birds connected by the heart. So to me, this is a message about people that are probably coupled up. But if you are single, this just tells me what you're looking for. If you're looking for someone, to, um, like you're looking for a partner to, uh, become committed to married to like a life partner. I feel like in divine timing, that is something that is meant for you. So just trust. Ooh, interesting. We have weighing options and death endings. So to me, this is like something that had to either end or a way of kind of being or doing things, somebody might have needed time to think. Seven of keys, seven of pentacles, something was on hold. Somebody was kind of trying to like weigh their options or get themselves ready for this point to be able to be available to you, to either date you, be in a relationship with you, or even marry you. So I'm getting here that the current vibration is good. There's a lot of magic in the air. There has been some kind of like, we've gone through a cycle, but that cycle is over now. Now the timing of these events are favorable this being on hold energy is over. That's what I'm seeing here. This time of waiting or patience is ending. And now the timing is favorable for whatever this situation is being proposed to, or, you know, being like pursued or let's take things to the next level. And if you are single, I just feel like there's some sort of a death of some phase of, of waiting for something to happen. And um, it looks like it's more than likely sooner than later to basically be on the horizon that uh, you will meet this person where you're going to have a good attraction to. It's going to be good vibes all the way around. And you guys are coming together at the right time. It's kind of like maybe something in your life had to end before, before this person could come in. And so now it's like, you know what you want. You had to kind of go through some things to really know what you want. Because sometimes when people come in, we're not always ready. I know that when Mr. Moon came into my life, when we met, when we were in ninth grade, I was not ready. Oh no, I was not ready. Oh gosh, I, I'll go into the story. I think I have before, but I'll go into it again for those of you that are interested. But man, I can't believe that that guy still wanted me after all those years. I mean, he moved on with his life and everything like that. And obviously I did too, but uh, the chemistry was just still there after all that period of time. But see, the thing is, just because we had chemistry didn't mean that I wanted to be with him in that way that he wanted to be with me. He wanted to be my boyfriend. He wanted to be committed to me. And I was just kind of like, what? Like, I, like probably 15, 14, 15 years old. And I'm just like, this is like the last thing that I want. I want to date. I want to weigh my options. <laughs> you see what else is out there, right? 
And then it turns out that all these years later, he's actually the one, <laughs> you know what I mean? So sometimes it is just the timing wasn't right for us. We had to go through certain things and, um, you know, things happen for a reason. So I don't know. I was just, I guess, meant to share that with you guys. And I hope that this resonated with you. And if it didn't, no worries. You guys can always choose number, um, you know, one or two. But I think number one might be connected to this one. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and evening. And Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate. Take care. Bye-bye.